Hey everyone, welcome to what is channel. So this video is a quick overview of what type of integrations we can do with make.com or as previously known as Integromat. So make or Integromat is basically an automation platform that allows you to integrate a lot of applications on the internet with each other. Right. So in this case, we will be integrating Wati with any other platform that make supports using make as the intermediary as the connector between these two applications basically so let's get started and what you can integrate with make using our what is apis right and you can actually see the documentation of these apis in your what account itself so i'm just here in my test account and if i go to api docs right here i should be able to see my api endpoint my access token as well as all the 17 API endpoints that what is CRM provides, right? So these let you do a lot of tasks programmatically. For example, you can get a list of all your contacts with an API call or get us get some media files, or you can add contacts, update existing contacts, add some extra attributes to each of these contacts basically. Or of course you can rotate your access token for extra security. And of course, the most important thing is the ability to send messages. So you, we have API endpoints that will allow you to send transactional messages, broadcast messages, broadcast messages to phone numbers in a CSV file. Or of course, if the session is open, you can send session files, messages, list messages, button messages. We have API endpoints to send all kinds of messages in the what is CRM itself basically. So for this integration, for this demo, we will be using the version two of send template message API endpoint. So the path is API v2 send template message. So essentially what we are trying to do here is uh, a simple bare minimum integration using make. So whenever a new row is added into a Google sheet, we want to send them a welcome message. We want to say, hey, thank you for registering with us. This is the name we got. This is your phone number that you registered. Basic details, very bare minimum welcome message type of thing, right? So for that, of course, I would need a template message in order to send the message, right? So I do have one, it's called registration confirmation and the content is very minimum. So it just says, hi, name. Thank you for registering your phone number. This is the phone number. And that's it. So bare basic. So I have a template name. I have variable, two variable names, and this is the one I would want to send whenever a new row is added to a Google sheet, right? So first let's, so since we already have a template message ready, let's go ahead and create a Google sheet for this. So sheets dot new going to create a test sheet and I'm just going to make this, uh, make.com test sheet that works. And of course, in order to send a message, right, we would need two things here. One is the name of the user to the number, the phone number to which we are sending, as well as, you know, in order to populate the values of the variables itself. So I'm just going to put this as name and then number. I'm going to enter a test value, for example, test user and the number could be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, basic. Yeah. So now that we have a template message to send and the details to go with the template message, let's go ahead and create integration. So I'm logged into my make.com account. If you don't have an account, go ahead, just open make.com and you should be able to create a free test account here. And so the basic account is free. So just go ahead, create a basic account. Later you can upgrade to a paid account if needed. So once you create an account, this would be the dashboard here. And this is where you can create an integration or as make calls it a scenario. So let me go ahead and create a scenario. The title would be sheets to what is scenario. That's fine. And since our trigger it's, so these are all the applications that are supported by make by the way, for example, we have Calendly here. So whenever a new event is created with Calendly, send a what message or chat fuel, charge B whenever, whenever someone, a new person is added in charge B, send them a welcome message. All sorts of use cases are possible for our convenience. I'm just going to use, use sheets. So Google sheet, there we go. 
watch for new rows. That's the trigger I'm going to choose. And this is where you will have to create a connection between your make account and your Google account. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on this add button and sign in with Google. I have already done that. So this is my connection here. And this is where I can choose the file as well. So I'm just going to search make.com and make.com. Yeah, make.com test sheet. There we go. And it's going to fetch all the details basically. And sheet name is this. And that's pretty much it. So this is a trigger I've set up basically. So whenever a new row is added to this sheet in this Google spreadsheet, automatically send a WhatsApp message. In order to send the WhatsApp message part, I will use the HTTP node. So Wati itself, if you search for Wati in here, it's not going to show anything. So we are creating this integration with an API call basically. So I'm just going to choose HTTP. In that, I'm going to choose make a request, send a HTTP request. Just click on that. There we go. Now, this is where we will construct the API call that will execute whenever this trigger happens, right? So trigger action, when trigger happens, do this action, that sort of thing. So let's go back to our Wati account. This was the template message. So let's go ahead and create an API call for this. Again, let's go to our API doc section available just right here. And just keep this template open for the variable names. Okay, let's go to API docs and let's go all the way down and API V2 send template message API V2 click on this try it out button on the right side. And now, uh, yeah, this is the data that we have to fill. First, we need to enter the WhatsApp number to which we are sending the API call to which we are sending the message. And then of course the body of the API call. So in this case, first we need to mention the template name. So go back to other tab, copy the template name, come back here, replace this string with the template name, the actual template name, which is registration underscore confirmation. And then I'll have to provide a broadcast name. This could be anything. I'm just going to put this as test make broadcast. There we go. And now in the template, remember we have two variables. One is name. Other is number. So we have a name and a number. So there will be two variables as in two parameters. So I'm just going to copy first parameter, add a comma, paste the second one. So we have two parameters now. So name of the first parameter was name. So we'll just come back here. So name of the variable is this and the value of the variable is test user. I'm just hard coding the value for now. We will change this when we move to make. So next, the name of the second variable is number. So name of the variable is number. Value of the number is blah, 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 something random. And I'm just going to enter a test phone number here. And execute. Result is true, errors are null, which means the message was successfully sent out to the test phone number. So this particular information that we have here, this curl, right? And request URL, this is the information we would need to create that make uh, HTTP part. So first let's just copy this entire request URL, come back to make, paste it in the URL section. And of course the phone number we are sending this data to should be dynamic, right? So whenever new entries come into the Google sheet, we want to send the message to only that number. So this is where we will map it dynamically. So I'm just choosing number on the right side. So whenever a new row is added, the number of that specific row will be fetched and added at the end of this URL. That's done. Now method should be post and then we have to add headers. So let's go back to our API call. So first header we need to add is authorization. Copy this, come back here, paste it here. And of course your authentication token is just right at the top. So I'm just going to copy this access token here and come back down, come back here, paste the authentication token here, done. And then we need to add a second header, which is content type. Copy this, come back here, paste it here, and then copy the actual content type value, which is application JSON patch plus JSON which I'm entering here. 
So once we added the headers, we don't care about body type or query strings. So yeah, let's enter body type as raw and content type should be JSON. And then we just copy the actual body that we set up before as in this white space area, the whole body. This is the actual body basically. So let's just copy this, come back here, paste it here. But then again, these are hard coded values. We want to change this dynamically. So I'm just going to replace test user with the actual name that we get from the sheet and then the value with the number, phone number basically. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So in the API call, we have a URL to which we are sending the data. We have the post method and then we have two headers. One is authorization, other is content type. And then we have the body. That's it. That's all we really need. So, okay, let me save this first done let's enable this and run this once okay there is okay scenario run was complete and let's go back to see if there was any message that was sent out nope so let's go ahead and create a row so in this case i'm just going to put my name and a phone number There we go. So a name is added, a number is added. So whenever new data comes in, it needs to send a HTTP request. So quickly run this scenario was completed. Let's check if the message went out. Active chats, all chats. Ah, there we go. So yeah. Hi, Jahani Viprasad. Thank you for registering your phone number, blah, blah, blah with us. So the second one is the one that we just sent out basically. Right. So yeah, this is pretty much the whole integration, the data, the, the name and the phone number came from this Google sheet. So let's add, uh, again, another name, it's random. And then again, the phone number, come back here, run it again, just for sanity, go back here. Ah, there we go. Hi, random string. Thank you for registering. This is your phone number. So. Yeah, this is how we can set up an integration. Basically, the action is whenever you watch for new rows in this Google sheet and then make a HTTP request. So this is the bare I mean, So essentially what I want to just show you is how to set up an action reaction system and how to make an API call with what basically, right? And since we also have API calls that that will do other stuff as well. So for example, you can also assign operators or you can also you know, send session messages, files, send buttons, send list messages, or you can add contacts. So this second part doesn't necessarily have to be a send template message. You can also use an add contact API endpoint. So whenever a new row is added in Google sheet, it will be added as a contact in what that sort of thing. So all the use cases that are possible with these APIs can be done in the make system as well. So that's pretty much the whole integration. And we actually have documentation for this as well. So if you go to support.wati.io, support.wati.io and search for make, there we go. And this is the whole, you know, you can just follow the screenshots here as well in order to completely understand the integration. So yeah, that's pretty much it folks. It's a pretty straightforward integration. We just, so this is very ba ba basic, right? So you can make this as complex as you want, make how many other API calls as you want. Okay. Thank you so much. If you do have any further questions, just go to, you know, any support article messages, you can reach out to us on WhatsApp here, or just send out an email to hello at whaty.io and our support team will get back to you. Okay. Perfect. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.